Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite tips for shopping at the Goodwill. A lot of you guys leave comments on my videos like my Goodwill hauls and you say that you are so jealous of my Goodwill and you wish your Goodwill was the same as mine and you wanna come over and go shopping. That would be really fun to go shopping. I love the third part. However, I've been to Goodwills over numerous states in numerous cities and towns and I would say that the Goodwill I shop at is pretty par for the course. Some of them are a little bit substandard but quite honestly, they're all pretty much in that same range. And if you have the right skills and the right amount of time to dedicate, you can honestly find some good stuff. So here's shopping. Here are my tips. I hope you enjoy. So your first step is obviously going to be to choose your goodwill. Now the adage can be true that ritzier areas do yield better goodwills and middle of the road areas have middle of the road goodwills. However, something a lot of people don't know is the donation drive through is not the only place to donate things. You can donate to the drive through attached to the building, but most cities have donation trucks that are separate from the actual location. So find out where those donation trucks are and a lot of times they're in more upscale areas. So Goodwills and middle of the road areas can get really nice things. Another reason that I don't discount Goodwills is because a lot of Goodwills team up with stores like Target and Walmart and the store rejects end up coming to the Goodwill. So you can store some really great, amazing items for next to nothing. So now that you know how to choose a location, here's my game plan for actually shopping. The first thing is I never go into Goodwill without a list, which sounds really dumb, right? Especially because you can't just be like, ooh, I want to find a pink jacket at Goodwill and go in and find it doesn't work like that. However, I keep a list on my phone of general things that I want and need for my house. And that way I can pull it up when I get to the Goodwill. I eliminate needless purchases. And that way I kind of have an idea of the basic staples that I want to buy. Okay guys, so true story time, because I want to give you guys actual examples of things I bought within the last couple of weeks at the Goodwill. So I had on my list on my phone that I wanted to get a nice toothbrush holder for our guest bathroom. This is a Target reject. It retailed for $9.99 and I paid $1.99 for it. It was a super sweet score and it's really high quality. So my next tip for you guys is when you get into the Goodwill, the first place you should be lying to is the glass case. And typically this is up at the checkout counter, like right when you walk into the store. And basically anything behind here are things that they're afraid people are gonna steal if they leave out in the store. So they keep them behind the glass case. They retail for a little bit more. You're gonna pay a little bit more for them, but they're really nice quality. Check out this beautiful Vera Bradley brand new bag that I scored for just $6. So my next tip for you might make you kind of sad, but it is the sad, sad, bitter truth, people. The vast majority of stuff in the Goodwill is total and complete and utter junk. Truly and honestly, to find good quality things, you have to go to the Goodwill at least six to seven times to find just a couple of good items. You've got to dig. You've got to get down, like squat down in the bottom shelf and like really dig behind stuff. Look through things. Don't feel pressure to buy just because it's cheap. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a house full of junk just like the shelves at Goodwill. Really use your discretion and think about it. And keep in mind their exchange policies. At My Goodwill, you can return clothing, shoes, and electronics for a store like Credit, but you cannot return anything else. So you really want to make sure you love an item before you go and buy it. So here's some footage of me actually shopping. I just wanted to show this because I thought this was so funny and like what a weird book to have in Goodwill. Like who would buy this? No wonder it got donated. <laughs> but anyways, really look through things and be picky, right? Because you're paying the same exact thing no matter how good of quality it is. So for example, I'm looking for books for my son. This book is really cute. It's a pop-up book, but it's horrible quality. Some kid was silly and went and colored all over it. But then I found this other super Super amazing pop-up book. It looked like no kid had ever read this before. It was literally in mint condition for $1.39. So use discretion, be really picky with what you buy, and really look at everything, cover to cover, whether it's a book or an item. 
So my next tip for you is to shop the season that just happened, whether you're looking for seasonal decor or clothes. So it's January right now, so there's a ton of really nice Christmas stuff because people are getting rid of it, right? They're like, oh, I don't really have a spot for my home in this anymore. They're going through bins and then they're donating things. Same goes for clothes. So right after Christmas time, amazing Christmas stuff. Right after summertime, great summer stuff. And all the stores that had things, you know, that they need to get rid of are going to send it to the Goodwill. So buy clothes a season ahead of time. So my next tip, there are a few things that universally in any Goodwill you go in are amazing. One of those things are baskets. Every Goodwill has baskets and any Goodwill I've ever been in has a pretty awesome selection. So use that to your advantage. These are great organizers and at a buck 99 a pop, you really can't go wrong. Time out. Do you guys see this little old man popping a squat over the basket? Ay, ay, ay. This is why I love Goodwill because they have funny stuff sometimes. Okay, so true story time. Remember my list that I keep on my phone? Well, I had on there that I wanted a basket to keep my piano books in because, you know, I don't want them on the floor with all the kids running around. This basket was $1.99. It's super high quality. I can stick all my piano books in here on the piano. It looks really pretty. No one would ever know it came from Goodwill. Okay, some of you guys might be mad at me. Please don't be mad at me. This was just a really good find, I promise. <laughs> this laundry basket, I kid you not. Like, I wish I was kidding. I paid $2.99 for this. These retail for like $40 at Target in the basket section. Who would have thunk? So sometimes you're going to surprise yourself. I don't even know why someone would get rid of this. But anyways, we're keeping it in our guest bedroom. So when my mom stays here, she can just pop her clothes in there. Amazing find that I got last week. So this leads into my next tip, which is a lot of you guys ask me, Catherine, how do you get such good timing? Like every time I go into Goodwill, I never feel like I have good timing for stuff. Quite honestly, if you want to know the truth, January and February are some of the best months to shop in Goodwill. People are cleaning out their homes. They're getting organized. There's amazing donations. It's a fabulous time to check it out right now. Oh my gosh, look at this tutu. So cute if you had a little girl. Okay, so another thing that is really universally awesome at almost any Goodwill are the frames. Now you have to ignore the creepy art like Clockwork Orange, weirdest book and movie ever. I mean, it's good, but weird. But anyways, frames are amazing. So true story time. I got these three frames for $1.99. Now they happen to be really nice frames. I didn't have to spray paint them, although you can do that too. And I just got this idea from Pinterest. I just had my husband and Carson and I put our thumbprint on a piece of paper and then we put it in the frame. So it makes this really cute family grouping and it's super artsy and fun. And I only paid $1.99 for this entire project. So look for frames. So another tip is to shop the clearance rack. My particular store has a 99 cent rack, but some stores have like colored tags that go on sale every so often or like discount days. These pants are 18 months, which are my son's size, and they're on sale for 99 cents, brand new, never been worn. So don't just count it out because it's cheap. The way Goodwill works, they don't take items that are lesser quality and make them less expensive. They wanna rotate stuff to get it out of the store. So you can really save even more money. Okay, so more tips for you guys. If you're having trouble finding decor stuff and you really want to, I don't know, add like a fun accent to your home, check the plate section. These plates would be really fun and funky if you had an eclectic taste. And trust me, by no means am I saying that you guys have to decorate your home like me, like at all. This is just some things that I've personally found. Um, this is on my china hutch. Some of you guys have asked what I like to do on the top of things like this. That leaf plate in the back, was $1.99. That elephant that I lovingly have named Paco was $1.99. And the little glass cover, I think it's like a cheese cover, was $1.99. The plate below it from the dollar store. And that little flower I actually got in Italy. But you can see I've made a really pretty grouping up here for just a couple of dollars. So my last and final tip for you guys is to think outside the box. This is back in my house by the front door. This is my entryway closet. And I posted this on Facebook the other day and a lot of you guys commented on it. This is actually a shoe organizer that came from the container store. I kid you not. This is a container store item that was obviously old but brand new in the packaging. And rather than using it to organize shoes, I'm just using it as cubbies in our closet. So it maximizes the vertical space. It makes it really 
really easy to find things. I've got like Luna's coats in there and plastic bags and actually some empty cubbies at this point. So think outside the box. And down here, I'm using a basket, again, for the Goodwill to store shoes. So when we come in from outside, we can just throw our shoes in the basket and they're out of the way. So here's another item that I've used in a unique way. Lots of Goodwills have trays. Basically, every Goodwill I've ever been in has a selection of them, which you can spray paint if you need to. But I'm just using this to corral items. And these happen to be photo albums on top of this bookshelf. Not a bookshelf. What is this? A little console table. So think about creatively how you could use things things to become organizers that Goodwill tends to have a lot of. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and my tips for shopping at the Goodwill. If you like Goodwill hauls and seeing more Goodwill items that I have around my house, click the screen for a playlist of those. Leave me a comment down below with your favorite Goodwill tips and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!